Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Juan Motivates. Uh, if you've seen my video before, my content, you can tell that I'm in a radiology field. I'm a radiology technologist. If you're new here, please hit the subscription, the like, the comment, notification, all that good stuff. But I want to give you guys an insight on what to expect if you decide to go to radiology technologist school. So stay tuned and I got you covered. <laughs> So to start off, Radiology Technology School is a two-year program. 90% of the schools out there is a two-year program. Now, there's some schools out there that's like a year and a half, 16 months. I'm not sure what you have to do to get into those programs or you know exactly what schools do that, but there are some schools out there that are a year and a half, but most likely 95% of the country, it's a two-year program. So just know that if you go to Radiology Tech School, it's gonna be at least two years. Uh, so now, the next thing is that it's not easy, guys. It's not an easy program. You know, people think that, oh, you know, all they do is press buttons all day, or and it's like, no, it's not that easy. And if you look around, you do your research, you'll see that most programs start with 30, 35 students, and they end with like 15, to 12 students in the end because they drop out. It's not as easy as you think. Whether they, whether their schoolwork was easy, but they didn't expect the clinicals to be, you know, that tough, or they didn't expect to, you know, um, have to travel, because most of these schools, um, they have affiliations with hospitals, and the hospitals could be an hour and a half away, two hours away, so your school could be on one side of town, or in one county, and then you have to drive an hour, an hour and a half to go to your clinical sites. And you have to go to your clinicals because you have to have a certain amount of hours in those two years for you to be able to sit for your boards and to become a registered tech. So you have to take that into consideration. It's not an easy program. You have to know anatomy, physiology. You have to learn radiology, physics, positioning, pathology. It's a lot, it's not an easy program, and that's why, you know, when you have these schools that start off with 35 students, they end up with 15, you know, because it's not easy, you know, but school is school, it's what you put into it, you know, so if you're gonna go in there and you're gonna think it's easy and not, not study, you know, not, not ask anybody for help or your teachers for help, I mean, of course, you're gonna fail. And then just some people just don't they don't they don't like it they feel they they thought it was something so they get into it because they're like oh it's radiology it's cool it's easy you know i can do this and then they hit the clinical stage and they're like oh i don't want to deal with you know gunshot patients blood everywhere like it's not for everybody you know and that's understandable but that's why you do your research you do your due diligence before you go into any kind of program any kind of medical field anything whether it's not medical or not you want to do your research before you go into any kind of program to study and put that money down. So, you know, the cool thing about radiology program is you get to uh, rotate through different clinicals. You know, you go to hospitals, diagnostic centers, um, urgent care centers, I believe you do too. You go to urgent care centers. So that you, you get a little bit of everything. So when you get out and you become a tech, you can be like, okay, well, I don't want to work in a hospital because it was too hectic or uh, I don't want to work in urgent care because they're too slow and you do more of an MA work, which is um, medical assistant. But it's up to you, you know, it's up to you. And you know, that's the, that's the nice thing about radiology. You get a little bit of everything. Well, when you're in school, you get a bit of, you know, different varieties of, you know, working conditions. The last one, not, well, yeah, the last one I want to talk about is the pay and where you can work and the hours. So the pay, uh, when you first come as a tech, I think your, your pay can be between 20, $24, at least in Florida. Uh, I'm not sure about any other state, but in Florida is between 20, 24, maybe $23 an hour starting off. And, and, and the hours, it depends where you work. You know, like if you work at a hospital, 99% of the time, they're only gonna be hiring overnight evening or weekend because 
everybody that wants the day shift, those those shifts are already covered for the techs that have been there for the longest. Cause that's what, that's everybody's shift. Everybody wants eight to 4.30 or seven to three. You know, they, everybody wants that shift. Nobody wants to work three to 11. Definitely nobody want to work, you know, 11 to seven. I can't say definitely because there's some people that like night shift, but for the most part, all the good shifts are gone. And not only that, you know, when you work in a hospital, you have to remember you have to do like weekends. I just said weekends. We had to do holidays. You know, um, you're the newcomer, so you had to do like Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, all the fun stuff. You have to, you know, take on the first year. So that's something you got to think about. Now, when you work in urgent cares or outpatient cares, I think urgent cares, um, they usually work from eight to eight or seven to seven. So, um, that's a that's pretty cool too. The only thing I forgot to mention too is on hospitals you have to you have to be on call. So when you go home, you're still on call. You know, so they can call you back anytime. And you have like a 30 minute window to show up. That can be annoying, but that's coming from veteran tech. You know that I've been doing it for so long. You know, maybe when you're young, you can now you can handle it, but you're excited. Not even young. When you're new to the field, you're excited. Like oh, I'm on call. You know, I get to go to work. And don't get me wrong, radiology is a beautiful field. I have nothing against it. I love it. I love what I do. But, um, you know, that's kind of like a downer. You know, I try to be on call and things like that. But when you work for urgent cares, you don't have to worry about that because you work eight to eight, seven to seven. You have a family, you go home, you go to sleep. You don't have to worry about being on call. Now they don't pay as much um, as a hospital, but they have better hours, you know? So you kind of have to like, you know, give some take some you know choose your battles whichever one is better for you for your family so that's something to think about before entering the radiology tech program now the upsides for being an rt is all the things that come along with it that you can grow into you know so you can become certified in ct which is cat scan tech you can go to mri school and be an mri tech you can do radiation therapy and work with cancer patients um, as well as PET scan tech, which uh, it's just, a PET scan tech is kind of like a CAT scan machine, but it's between nuclear and CT. Um, I've never personally done it, so I really don't know how it works, but I believe you have to have both in order to be a PET scan. Those are all the possibilities you can do as a radiology technologist if you go to the school. So just do your due diligence, make sure you go to a good school, make sure you go to a school that is accredited that once you're done with school, you can you can sit for your board. You had to sit there and wait for another, you know, accreditation. So the best schools to go to, in my opinion, are public schools, your state colleges, you know. Uh, so private schools, I don't trust, you know, I'll get into that video. I've been to both. I've been to a state college and a private college. So I know both, you know, curriculums and what they entitle and what they come with. So I'll do a separate video on that, on whether to go to private school or state school. So I'll, I'll do a lot of insight and I got a lot of experience in that. You know, I have a bachelor's, I have an associate's, which once you get your bachelor's, associate's only a matter, but I'm certified in RT, I'm certified in CT. I haven't gotten into MRI or anything yet because I don't know if I wanna get into that yet, but you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, as always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope this helps somebody out there that wants to get into the radiology tip program and look out for my next videos and as always until next time